welcome back to Living My Fest Life, a podcast about festivals, fairs, events, and experiences, everything from the nationally known to the local and obscure, and today we are just jumping in the car, my sister and I and my friend Stephanie um, and my niece Rosalind, we are going impromptu to a festival that I saw advertised on a friend's Instagram, which is Yellow Springs Porch Fest. Enjoy with us. I'm living my best life. So we saw an advertisement for Yellow Springs Porch Fest, and it looks like a festival in which musicians just play on porches in a neighborhood, and uh, yeah. community members are welcome to walk street to street just listening to all of the porch concerts, I guess, that are going on. Yeah, everybody in the neighborhood just invites local artists to play music on their porch, and there's even a lineup in a schedule so you can see where everybody's playing. Okay, so who did we miss? Because there were some really cool name, like band names. I was trying to decide, since I didn't recognize them, I would, you know, choose based on how cool their name was. Uh, I'm... So it started at what, noon? Yeah, it's 12 to 7, and you guys have to remember these artists aren't getting paid, too, so bring your dollars so you can tip people, because this is just, like, them coming out and having fun. And what are some of the art? You said you're going to get the schedule up. Yeah. There's a there's a map on the website so you can know exactly where um, every band is playing. And I like the idea that there is. I think I saw someone was doing improv, maybe, or just improvising music. One one was a group of ukulele players, and I think they do covers. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm so for that. It looks like there is a lot of diverse, um, different genres. Yeah, there's rock. Bluegrass, folk, jazz. Um, actually, the I think there's a string band, like a, a string instruments or woodwind. Um, indie rock, classic pop, oh, acoustic the... soul. I've never what's a, acoustic soul, soul but with acoustic. Yes, read some names. Do you have names? Yeah, we got. Um, do you want me to read the whole list? Just give me some fun ones. All right, from twelve to one, there was a band. Rook. Uh, rock folk called Where's Steven? I like it. And uh, Yellow Springs Woodwind Quintet. Uh, from 1 to 2, there was Gabe Judy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Question and a time. ukulele club band. Yeah, that's, uh, we missed the ukuleles. Oh, that's the, yeah, the covers. All de- decades. So how long have I been trying to get you to get in your car to get into my car so I could see these ukulele players? Basically all day. Okay, so we will probably arrive around 4.30. Let's go to the 4 o'clock lineup so we can pick out what band we're going to see. All right, so from 4 to 5, there's Daniel Dye and the Miller Road Band. Sounds cool, bluegrass funk. Uh, Jake Riley and friends, the American Landscape, Tom Clevenger, and the Trish Marlet Jazz. Did you say mullet? Malret. Okay, I Malret. thought you. S- I thought you said mullet. I was I like, well, we definitely got to go see the mullet one. Okay, I want to see the devil. Uh, what was it? Devil's, Devil's Backbone. Yeah, I want to see Devil's Backbone and Jake Riley and friends. That sounds great. Um, and then 
from five to six. Yikes, a band. I love that name. Yikes. We gotta go see Yikes. <laughs> Yikes, a band. Okay, Colonel Tucker's Medicinal Brew and Compound. God damn, these names are so fucking good. <laughs> the Legion, uh, Lichen, Asa Verde. That sounds like, uh... D- sounds delicious. <laughs> Sad box. Oh. Sad box. Sandbox. We were sandbox. Candle box. <laughs> we were sandbox, but no one would play with us, so we got sad. It's this middle aged dad rock. Can we go Oh my see god, middle aged dad rock? Like the national. The of the night. It should be the headliner. If we're not all on someone's lawn just listening to fucking yeah. cherry. It's just the guys from the national decided to make a road trip from Cincy and do do some dad rock. Oh, sad box. So, how did you hear about Yellow Springs Porch Fest? Uh, actually, we fo- I follow them on Facebook. Okay. And uh, Ted and Karen, the owner of this house, are friends of ours. Oh! So, so you want to stop by and support your friend. Absolutely. Definitely. But it's a great time to be outside, and you can't beat live music. So, it's just like a party in the neighborhood. Did you guys get, get an early start, try and capitalize on all the bands to see? Uh, no, we were kind of mid-afternoon. <laughs> and, uh, we were too, yeah. yeah. Hit the brewery and walk back and forth so uh, and then we're going to an after party with our friends here oh, so you went to a Dayton Porch Fest can you tell me about that so Dayton Porch Fest started three years ago okay. uh, on a whim and in less than a month they put the first one together wow. I'm friends with the organizer and so the second year we volunteered and this was our second year to volunteer at Dayton Porch Fest okay. so Porch Fest are on our radar this is, I literally heard of it heard about it today and then we jumped in the car and Game. Oh wow! Yeah. Well, how, so this how'd is you a like it? Thing. There's like 150 cities that do porch fest now. And and how did how, do you know how that got started? Or I think it was Ithaca, New York, oh. started it like 12 years ago, and it's just caught on. But it's such a cool thing. We're just local musicians yeah. playing your local neighborhood, and uh, it's a great great way to spend the day. And yellow. Springs is such a cool community to be in. It's a perfect place, perfect setting. Whoever invented Porch Fest, they were thinking about Yellow Springs. So, Katie, um, if anybody wants to go to a Porch Fest, do you think they should? Yeah, but I think you should, like, camp out here because there's a lot of cool nature hikes around, and there is a really nice campsite around, and you should do it come early stay late go to find some cool people to hang out with everybody on the street was just talking and having really good conversations every time i walked by did you guys notice that i noticed that like when i would i would walk by a group and i would get off the sidewalk so they could pass and they would get off the sidewalk so i could pass and it was like this common courtesy <laughs> stand yeah stand, uh, standoff like oh who's gonna be nicer oh and, and nobody could get through any door because they're like no you go no you go <laughs> Um, it's definitely a sense of community here. I think, yeah, we're all there to experience together, well, especially a town like this that is so cool Dayton's and progressive. So close to Dayton, too, like Dayton Strong. Like, this is the type of feelings that everyone should have all the time towards each other, and that's not what's happening in the world. All right, so that's my favorite part about Mojo Band. You asked me earlier, and I was just, without words, taking everything in today. And this band was a hodgepodge of different styles and backgrounds and the way that they came together and made something work and the flute slash trumpet slash what else was he? Bongos. Bongos. <laughs> this bongo player, he was 
very unifying and welcoming, and it was awesome. So you said that you think this is how all music festivals should be because it's very simple and it feels like a Sunday evening and it's a Saturday night. I mean, yeah, they wrap up at seven, the sun goes down. So they probably don't want people like hanging out, lingering in the yards when the sun goes down. Cause then maybe the, the beers will come out and you know, they're, they're, they did a good job of organizing it in a way where it's like you enjoy throughout the day and then you feel good about yourself at the end. <laughs> you don't stay until the night. Like, yeah, I shouldn't have stayed. Of independent, locally owned, self-sustaining community with a lot of nice people that just want to have a good time and relax and not make a big thing of anything. And I think September is the perfect time for it. But I know that there is, it's yeah, it's, it's, it's beautiful is. outside. Don't take it in. But I think that if people look up Porch Fest all around the country, um, you know, they're going to really be surprised at the similar experience. Yeah, how similar this is and how beautiful and, and, and communal it is. <laughs> One of your podcast about the West Virginia roadkill. Oh, yay. And you mentioned that your dad had a raccoon. Is that true? Yes. God, I think this is the... And I mentioned he had a raccoon in the episode about Skunk Fist. So now we are three for goddamn three. Every episode, if I don't drop that my dad had a goddamn raccoon growing up, <laughs> the podcast will cease to exist. I think Kelly just made that up. I've never heard this story. Yes, they had a raccoon. No, I think that's not even true. Well, I... This is a weird experience because there's something that I remember from childhood, but nobody else seems to remember it. So I'm wondering if it is true or not. And it's really weird you guys say that because you guys lived in a neighborhood right behind me. And growing up, don't you remember the block parties where all the parents would get their lawn chairs out and sit oh, together? Yeah, they yeah. would sit in the cul-de-sac. Yeah. And the kids would ride the bikes down the hill. Yeah. And it, now when you visit the street, it's not even a hill. But it felt like that to us. Oh my gosh, it was such, it a, was such a fun time. And that's kind of what this reminded me of was being in your neighborhood. I love porch time, the communal feel, it was awesome. I'm living my best life. I think we learned a lot today. Um, porch fests are annual music festivals held across the United States and Canada on front porches. Like the gentleman said, it started in Ithaca, New York in 2007. And the events across the country aim to bring local musicians and neighborhoods together to celebrate a sense of community. And I think this one truly did that. Um, the original event in New York started with about 20 musicians and has since grown to over 100. The local musicians here we saw in Yellow Springs could not have been more diverse. Um, I enjoyed every single one that I saw. They just really try to bring the community together in all sorts of walks and ranges to make sure Everybody's having a great time. Uh, local vendors come out to sell things. The restaurants open their doors. It was really incredible to see these beautiful stages and the people who volunteer their properties to make this event happen. Couldn't have been more kind. If you just look up your state and then type in Porch Fest, I mean, here are a couple big ones. Cleveland, Ohio, Franklin, Tennessee, Napa, California, Salt Lake City, Utah, Kansas City, um, Jacksonville, Florida, Philadelphia, Folly Beach, San Antonio, Montreal. I mean, just, just look it up. Porch Fests are making their way across the country. And I 100% recommend you go with no expectations and just enjoy the day. Get some ice cream, too. If you have a story from a festival, I'd love to hear it. If you have a festival suggestion, you can send that to festlifepodcast at gmail.com. Uh, special thanks to Phil for doing the sound for our shows. Phil at Me Compadre. And to Katie and Stephanie and Rosalind for jumping in the car and just, you know, living my fest life with me. <laughs> we'll see you next time. And I hope you check out a porch fest.